Hello everyone, this is John Kelly. I'd like to show you one of my favorite apps for uh, creating multimedia projects. And it's called Book Creator. So I'm going to start a new book and show you how easy it is to use this app. As far as students using these different options, I tend to like Portrait because once you put it into iBooks, you don't have to scroll um, across the device to see the entire page like you would in Landscape. So I normally have my students choose Portrait. And then all I need to do to add anything to this, this is the cover of the book, is to tap on the plus sign. Notice I can add photos, um, I can use my camera, there's a pen option, adding text and adding sound. So for this one we'll just go to my camera roll. And I'll use a picture of my kids. So you can see I've added the picture. If I put my finger on any of the nodes, the dots there in the corners, I can resize the image. If I take two fingers and put it over the image, I can rotate it like so. And then notice just one finger will let me move the image. To add text, I go back to the plus sign, click on add text. So these are my daughters, Audrey and Kate. To say done when I'm finished. If I need to make any changes to the text, so notice I can move it around, but if I want it centered, up on the top right you see the I, which stands for inspector, and notice there I can change the font size, um, I can bold it, I can do all of these things. I'm going to center it right now. Also in that inspector, notice that I can change the page color. So if I don't want a white background, let's make it gray so it stands out a little better. Actually, with this one, let's go with a light blue. So there I have my cover. Now as I tap on the arrow, it allows me to go in and create pages. So once I'm here again, I can go in, and this time I'll show you using the camera. So we'll take a picture here of my New Zealand haka. Say use photo. And there it's added the image. I'm going to change the size of it. Right there. This is a newer option with it in the plus right here where it allows me to use the pen and really it's just creating an image. So I can just write Haka in cursive. Say I'm done. Notice once I've written I can move it around. Same kind of thing. I can rotate it if I'd like to. Put it at an angle. Adding sound. So I think this is a great option if your students go in, especially younger grades, and you want to do some voiceover, notice they can record their voice. Um, or I can go to my iTunes library and I can add a song to it as well. So we'll go with Counting Crows, add the song, gives you a little icon. I'm going to push play on it. I can pause it. Um, one other thing I'd like to show you is adding video. I'm just going to select a new page, hit the plus. Again, going to the camera. I'm going to change my camera to video. And we'll just pan around my office for a second. I'm going to use the video, and then it embeds it right there on the page. You can play it, you can see what it looks like, you can make it full screen. So when you're finished, you just need to share it to iBooks. Top right corner, the square with the arrow coming out of the top, is your share button. Open it up in iBooks. It'll add it instantly to your library. Notice I just scroll through it, gives me all those options, and I'll show you again the video. So that's Book Creator, one of my favorite multimedia creating apps. It's currently $4.99 in the App Store. Um, thanks for watching.